Thank you all so much. Ollie uh, was my first There's record. Um, right. I recorded it in 2005. Is everything it was 16, 17, grade 11. I had made the decision the that I wanted to go independent at that point. My mom um, helped me through that. I told her I didn't want to go to college. Darling, and uh, that I recorded with, um, with the producer Bill Bell. I suppose we put it out first just online, I think I and um, I found myself touring uh, extensively in, in places I've never been, like Europe. Um, we did a lot of touring in France and America, and, and the whole experience was really uh, exciting. And, uh, in my grade 12 year, I think I went to class like, for two weeks of the year, and I've been touring so much, I, you know, I wasn't able to, to be in school so much. Our next guest is a uh, talented uh, young singer, uh, songwriter, and his sophomore album is entitled You, I, Wind, Land, and Sea. Please welcome Justin Nozuka. When I had started touring, um, I put together a, a group of friends, um, a band, and uh, you know we had been touring for like three years on Holly. And I knew that when I, when I was going to start working on the next record, I really wanted to um, include them in the process and also capture the energy that, that we had been uh, performing on the road. So yeah, we had been working uh, UI One Land and Sea. We had toured it for about a couple years. And it, it had become time to, to start working on the next album. Um, and at the time, musically, uh, I had sort of felt unfulfilled, I guess. Felt the natural progression that the band and I would, would sort of go our own ways. 28,000 years ago in winds of Jasper I, I sort of became secluded, um, a little bit depressed. I was feeling like, you know, there were artists that were coming up at the time that I really liked. And I felt like my project wasn't in line with that. You know, like I felt like I wasn't proud of my project. I wanted to express some things that were, weren't so in the box. And because I had started touring at such a young age, I was like 17 when I hit the road. I was about 23 at this time, 22, 23. Um, I felt like I really needed to, to get grounded. I, I got a place in Toronto and I set up a little home studio. Uh, I set the goal that I wanted to produce my own album, and I wanted to take chances. You know, throughout the whole process of working on it, I'd be getting calls and emails. When is this record going to be done? Finally, it was finished after four years. You know, it was a difficult process. Because I had, I had known that I was going a completely different direction. I was going against the grain. And it was really scary to do that, um, but it felt completely essential to my, to my well-being as an artist and as a human being. I presented it to the label and uh, to the management company. Everyone was a bit shocked, I think, with the direction I had taken. Given that we were winning with the first two records, we had momentum going, we were, we were doing, doing good. Everyone was game, everyone was down to, to support it. And, and put it out in a sense, you know, like a scary experience, but a really positive experience as well. I remember the journey has been really natural from from the first album to now. Um, Ulysses was a necessary break for me. I had to get a lot of things out of my, out of my being, I guess, you know what I mean? I had to express myself. Um, and, and once I had gotten all that out, I was feeling an urgency to, to bring some rhythm back, like some up-tempo rhythm back into my life. Ulysses was a stretch for me. I was stretching and trying to express something. It didn't really feel like it was in here. It was like somewhere else, you know? And Run to Waters, 
was about coming back to a more natural, uh, comfortable state of creation. Run to Waters, for the most part, is kind of a combination of all three albums, but more so the first two. The album's really um, about being out in nature in the summertime. I'm trying to capture that feeling through the record. I guess this, this sort of freedom that you feel when you get into a car with, with a few friends and drive a couple hours and maybe five hours, you know, on a camp trip. So I'm happy it's coming out in summertime. I think that our set and our reaction, our connection to the audience, uh, connection to music is, I could say probably without doubt, the strongest it's ever been for me personally. It's just, it's a real joy to, to just be on stage and to be making music and connecting with the audience. Oh, 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 oh.